What's up, guys? Spartan85 here. Welcome to a 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 horde base guide or tutorial, if you want to call it. Kind of show you a horde base I built in my last series that worked good for the third horde. Now, I don't know how it's going to work for the, the other hordes, and you know what? We're going to find out in this video. Let's just test it. So, But first off, I'll go ahead and show you how it's built. It's a very simple design. It's a 5x5, five five, kind of a tower base, bringing the zombies to you. And there's a lot of different uh options you can do with this base but um i'm in navis game right here i'm just kind of near the farm the farm was right over there the bridge to working stiff tools and dyersville is right over there so found a nice flat area right here we're going to start with so first things first is you it's a like i said it's a five by five base so it doesn't just give yourself enough room you're going to have a uh you're going to have an elevated platform coming to the base so make sure that you have enough room for the elevated platform so let's just start over here and it doesn't really matter. You can take these uh, building these three building building blocks. You're gonna go one, two, and three. Now for the corners, if you want to use squares, you can. One, as for me, I like to do something a little different, kind of make it look a little different. And you can go. I mean, you can really bridge out from here and do a lot of different things. But I'll show you the block that I use. I go and split my stack. I go to shapes, and then you go to round, which is the third one down. Go to the very bottom of that, there is a cube corner round, and I use this for the corner. There's a lot of different options you can go with here if you guys wanna experiment, but this is the one I use. And so you select that, place it down right there, and then you're gonna go one, two, three again with the square. So one, two, three. And then over here, you select it again. Now you're gonna to have to rotate this to it matches right there. And then again, down here, one, two, whoop three again bring the corner down rotate it and then again one two three it's like an aerobics video or something and then you'll just place this down at your corner so now that's your uh that's your base and this is going to be the plat basically how you're going to build the base right here this is a very simple design and then you're going to want to upgrade these of course now you can go cobblestone probably for the first horde night if you want. Just if you just want to upgrade to cobblestone these these blocks right here. Uh, I'm gonna take it up to concrete because we're gonna fight a. I've already fought a day 21 horde with this, so we're gonna go a little higher horde. So I'm gonna go concrete with this, like this right here, and just kind of upgrade all of these. Like I said, cobblestone would probably be just fine for the day seven horde or whatever, whatever, whatever you're playing on. Now this next part is very important. You need to fill this in. And uh, I'm gonna switch to just cobblestone here, just cobblestone blocks, but uh, you can use, if you use wood block, wood block, black, oh my God, I can't talk. If you use wood blocks, you can just upgrade these to cobblestone to concrete. Now this is important that you upgrade these now don't build on top of this and then try to upgrade up because you won't be able to get to these blocks in the center. And these first three rows or so, these first three uh, columns, whatever you want to call them, are extremely important. So the zombies don't have a way to just tear down your base easily. They are going to have to go through this entire base because you're going to be standing on top of this. So they're, they're going to have to bring down this entire base basically to bring you down. They can't. So don't just leave it, leave this inside open or not upgraded. That's very, very important. So... All right, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna switch to cobblestone here just to save a little time, and uh, and then we're gonna. I'll show you the, um, the sides here again one more time. Same thing. Come over here, stand on top, put in your uh, your corner pieces like this. And then fill in your middle. And you want to do this three rows up. Uh, with I would I would do three rows up because they can stack zombies can stack in this alpha pretty and they do it a lot in this alpha so make sure that uh, I would go three rows up a full blocks now after three rows you can probably just keep it to wood if you want to save resources the, the the inside that is the inside of uh, all these blocks right here if you want to keep that the wood if you're running low on cobblestone and concrete mix then yeah that's uh that's probably not a big deal. Now, I don't have any, I'm not using steel at this moment, but you would want to upgrade these to steel if you had steel, of course. Uh, we got Mo over here. Let's uh, take care of him with the, uh, the dev gun. Sorry, Mo. I know that wasn't fair. Okay, we are upgraded three rows right now. So I'll show you what it looks like so far. There's three rows up. 
here's what it's going to look like. And if you want to stop here, you can. This is no big deal. I prefer to go a little higher because, like I said, zombies do like to stack. So I'm going to go just a little higher and just kind of show you guys. But you don't have to go as high. Um, oh my gosh, let me get up here. <laughs> uh, you don't have to go like super duper high if you don't want to. So um, I'm going to go probably two or three more blocks high is what I'm kind of thinking. All right, so I went six high, just using that same model. So basically doubled in size, nothing groundbreaking, nothing crazy, just pretty basic uh, building right here that looks good and is going to be very hard to take down for most early zombies. Now, when you get demolishers, yeah, that's that's going to suck. So um, so this is going to be your platform. Decide where, you're, where you want your platform to be, and we're going to build from here then. So uh, we'll put our doorway, I guess, right here. And then we're going to just kind of, whoop, I didn't mean to put that there. Keep your corners in place if you can. Keep your corners in place. So that'll be our doorway. So you're just going to keep kind of building up, basically. Boom. Boom. We'll put our corners in place. The only reason I'm using these wood corners is because I'm honestly lazy. And it's also very hard to see the corner pieces of the concrete blocks to line them up. It's extremely hard to see. So I just keep it wood. Because you can see the wood cubes. They're still hard to see, too. I know it's obvious upgrade. But if you're using concrete blocks for these for these corner pieces, just keep that in mind. And I will I will say again, you don't have to use these corner pieces. You can use just blocks if you'd just rather do that. There's totally nothing wrong with that. So, okay, so this will be our doorway here. So you need this to be solid. Absolutely solid right here. So we're going to build this up. That'll be our doorway. We're going to build our concrete right there, and then we're going to put something down here. Now, I'm going to show you something that I kind of learned from the community on for the uh, the sides. Okay, so for windows, which I like to have windows so you can see what's kind of going on. Uh, instead of doing iron bars, I generally do, but I say iron bars. I'm so used to saying iron bars. Instead of just doing bars, and I want to th thank the community for this, especially Rat Dog Gaming. If you haven't checked them out, go check out Rat Dog Gaming on uh, YouTube. I want to thank him for kind of pointing this out, and some others pointed this out too, but... <laughs> And I want to say a lot of these ideas come from the community. I mean, I think of some of these, but a lot of these come from the community. So it's it's an awesome community. Join us on Discord and share your ideas too if you want. Um, but basically these, uh, these I'm sorry, I should explain. I got too far ahead of myself. So if you go to um, basic shapes, and I just type in SC is what I do. SC, there's scaffolding right there. Scaffolding ladder, there's the bars scaffolding ladder it is, it is a ladder you can climb but you can also place it down and you can just you can turn it if you want like this you can also uh you can go to advanced and turn these uh, let me see if i can get them to turn here right there you can turn them like this so this looks more like a bar maybe per se so you can put these down as the windows is uh what i'm getting at so use these for the windows and you can use concrete also if you want so but i like to see what's going on uh let's get these set here kind of looks like a ladder too um well oh, i had those backwards let's uh turn those around but uh doesn't matter how you set them up i mean you can set them up looking like a ladder you can set them up looking like a window maybe if you want um yeah we'll make them all uniform kind of like that so we'll put them all down like that. I'm leaving the corners open if you if you see that. Uh, and I'll explain why in just a minute. And I'll go and explain right now. How about that? So go back here. I just use the iron bars corner. Now, another nice, nice thing about scaffolding, the main reason you want scaffolding is it stops cop puke. Bars will not stop cop puke. Scaffolding will. So this will stop all the cop puke. Uh, and that's the biggest thing you're going to run into with a base elevated like this is cop puke, also bird puke when you start getting uh, zombie birds also. So they can puke through these these bars on the corners. Just keep that in mind. So once you get that into place, you can come up and you can build on top of this now. And uh, we already have our roof in place. So our roof will come out right here. Like yay. 
Yeah, here's what it looks like from the outside. It's not done yet. We gotta put our corner pieces in still. Actually, let's uh, let's do that right now. That's gonna drive me nuts. I'd like to show you guys the finished product if I can. So let's go up here, um, put the corner pieces in. Right here. Right here. So you can be done here if you want. I like to go up another row just to make it look cool. Uh, so we'll go one more row. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to make kind of the castle look right here. So these will all go up one. The castle kind of medieval fortress. So these will all go up one here. And you don't have to do this. This is mainly for aesthetic look, just to make it look cool. We'll put one in the center on each side like that. We'll go and upgrade these all the way up to uh, concrete. Once you get those upgraded, you can go ahead and upgrade these to concrete also. That's what's nice about these bars, these scaffolding. You can go to all the way to concrete on these. And then eventually steel also. So you can upgrade those. I got zombies coming over. We'll deal with them in a minute. That's what it looks like, guys. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, nothing nothing crazy, but it looks pretty menacing. If I was a zombie, I'd be scared. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so up here, we'll make... What we're going to do is we're going to put some... We're going to put... Uh, let me go back into God mode here so we can fly. This will be blocks right here. These three right here will be blocks. And this is where the zombies are going to stand. You want them to have a, a nice place to stand. Uh, and then this is where the, uh, the sludge turret will be. Sledge turret is going to sit here. So you do you want a sledge turret for this? If you don't have one initially, that's fine. Not a big deal. But once you get one, you'll want one for this base. Okay, and then for what we're going to do with the zombies is you go to shapes right here, and you go to round right here, and then you're going to find the pole that is 0.25. That can be kind of hard to find sometimes. I, I, I sometimes find the wrong. There's the 0.5. Now, you can use the 0.5. There's the 0.5. I'm sorry. There's the 0.5 will work fine for this. Totally, um, but I use the 0.25 is what I use. It's here at the bottom. If you go to the very bottom, it's right there, 0.25. We're gonna select that. We're gonna go up here, and this is actually pretty tall. I usually don't make them this tall, but the taller you make the base, the more fall damage you're gonna get from the zombies, which we love fall damage. You have to go to advanced here, and we're just gonna build this out like this. So, um, and you can, as long as it's green, you're good. Once it turns yellow, you're about ready to collapse. So we'll go out a little bit further. They see it's yellow there, and then red will collapse. So let's pick up that one there. So we need to build support. I did now in the testing I've done is once you take the supports out, it can pretty much stand up on its own. I don't know that I would want to keep doing that. I don't know, but the ones like I said, the ones I've built, they they stand up on their own pretty much. Before I go too much further, I should point out, I also typed in P-I-L-L. -L. You can type in pillar. That's how I found the pillar. I go to round, and I type in pillar, and there it is at the bottom. I should have pointed that out. I apologize, guys. I know a lot of people are out there looking for it, like, where the heck is are the pillars, Spartan? <laughs> All right, so what I've used, and it's worked, is these little pole cross-centered. Um, I thought about using something different. I, I mean, I, lo I love experimenting, but I'm going to show you guys what works, what has worked the best for me is this, uh, I, what I thought about using was the pillar double. Use, I thought about using that, but there's also the pole cross. That's not a bad one, but I use this little pole centered here and you're just gonna put it right like that. I know it looks atrocious, but hey, we're not here to win style points. So, and then we're gonna build some blocks up to it like this. And one more, and that's, <laughs> that is how it looks. It doesn't look pretty. But it works, and the the problem is if you use a, a a square block, the zombies want to try to attack it when they run across the poles, and they will stop, and they will stop on the middle of the poles, and they'll try to attack the the uh, the square 
um, box. Oh my God, the, the frame. I'm sorry, guys. But if you put something different there, like this X, they don't want to try to attack and they'll keep running towards you. So that's why I've used that. You do, And you can use whatever you want here. I'm just using concrete pillars just to save time. But, but uh, let's go back to the, let's find our pole. And I'll show you guys one more time, just in case you're wondering. Go to the round section, P-I-L, and then the bottom is pillar 0.25. And right there. Cool. All right. So that's about as far as I usually go. You can go a little further if you want. Now, this is where you can get creative. I like to do zombie obstacle courses. That's what I like to do. So if you want to keep building these poles out, you can. If you want to build your staircase here, you can. Uh, I've also thought about doing like a second watchtower that the zombies have to kind of go up. Um, so think about it. You know, if you want to have maybe a... Kind of an enclosed area here that you can throw pipe bombs at them and we're all in this area you can do that um i like to keep it where i can see the zombies that's what i like to do i like to keep it where i can kind of see them so um but you know, an enclosure would be good something like that so for right now let's just do put a block right here and they should be able to jump up on there so we'll put a block there then we'll put a block here, and we're going to start building our way down. This is just going to do some stair steps like this. Like I said, you can get more in intricate than this. You definitely can. Just keep in mind that if they blow this up, I would definitely strengthen this. So if they blow this up, they don't have a way to get to you, and they're just going to attack your base. So all of this that we're doing is keeping them from attacking your base, basically, is what we're doing. So make sure all this is strengthened. They're not going to blow it up. So there you go. So they should be able to jump up here right here and then they're going to run across so this is pretty basic the one i the one i did in alpha 21 my series i kind of made them snake around a little bit and you can see them running uh across and, and you can do that i had them like all go all the way over here like all the way over here and I had them running across this this platform and i could take shots at them from inside so that's another way to do it but for right now i just want to show you this this is kind of the basic way to do it have them jump up here have them run across. Now, the theory about the poles is if they if they get bunched up, um, they'll fall off. Also, it's really good to aim down your sights when you're over here. Literally, just aim down your sights, and you got them lined up. You can just do headshots like that. So it's real easy to do. Uh, and then I'll go and show you what we're going to do right here, and then we got to enclose ourselves. So what I like to do, if you go to the very top of the, uh, the shapes and just go to basic, I like this catwalk rail right here. This is what I've been using right here now um if you want to stop the cat pu the cat puke i call it cat puke all the time the cop puke maybe we can do scaffolding ladders right here the problem is the zombies are going to want to climb that so just keep that in mind so i have been using this catwalk rail right here i put one here and then i put one here this is two blocks that i got to try to get through that you can upgrade to basically steel if you want and then i grab a pole i bring it over here and we're going to go advanced whoop maybe we're going to go to advanced and then I put it right here and right here. And that's pretty well fortified. You can sit here and just get melee damage all the time. You can aim down the sights like that. You can throw Molotovs. You have the windows here. You can see them. Like I said, the other one I had, it had them going across this little pillar like this. that you could, So you could see them uh, running across and stuff. So um, now we need to find a way out. Basically what I do is I just put a ladder in here in the back right there and right there that's our way out and then our way in will be similar so i'm just going to come over here put a ladder in and of course you know make sure the zombies don't have a way to get to you basically so, but that's my way in right there so let me get out of this uh area right quick so and then what I usually do is I just throw a block here. Let me grab the wood block so I don't put down something I can't pick up. Just put a block right here. That way you can jump up there, and they shouldn't be able to jump up to that. So that's what I do. Pretty pretty simple. That's your way in and out of the base if you happen to fall or whatever. Okay, guys, I made some changes. I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and show you guys what it can do. Let's go ahead and show you. So zombies are going to have to jump up here. I'll run all the way across that. I get to see them run across. So I can take my pop shots at them while I'm in my base, while they're running across here. And this is a good place for a, a turret also. If you have a auto, like an auto turret or a, a, a robotic turret, set it right there inside your base, basically, and they can take pop shots while they're running across this uh, 
uh, thing here. Just don't fall like I did. So don't do that. And then they're going to throw it across. And then they're going to come up here. And then we'll put our sledge right here. And uh, it's pretty much good to go. I'm going to upgrade these blocks that I that I laid down as wood. And let's bring on a let's bring on a horde. I'll lay down some spikes too. I'll lay down some spikes. Nothing crazy. I'm going to try to keep it to where somebody like day I don't know what do we think 28 pre cops. We'll do pre cops. Um, what materials and weapons that somebody day 28 would probably have. And then we'll bump it up to maybe that's uh, a little harder. That's going to bring everything. Not sure how this base will do against demolishers. I'm really not sure. So, all right, just to show you guys what I do with the zombies uh, at the door to keep them from kind of jumping, like stacking and stuff like that. There's a lot of different uh, options. There's a ramp plate you can use right here. There's the slope plate right here. You can also, if you just want to keep it simple, just grab a regular wedge. This regular wedge 60. Come up here. This is really simple. You can get like I said, you can get more intricate with these, but. You basically want, and I just passed it, but you basically want a little bit of an incline. Get this to flip over. There it is right there. So you want the wedge, the slope facing down towards the zombies like that. So that's when they jump, and you can go out a little further if you want. Right there is far enough. But that's going to keep the zombies... Uh, let me just show you guys. I can kind of do it. I can just show an example. We got somebody, oh, I got somebody coming over. Look at that. He's shining out the base. I just fell. Look at this. This is great. I wish... Actually, I can get inside the base, can I? Let's just show you guys. Oh, he fell, didn't he? Oh. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Let's sit here. So when you jump, it actually pushes you back. See, I'm jumping. Pushes me back. So if they're over here, then they jump, they'll fall off. So that's the idea. Will you stop beating on my base? Please. Don't really appreciate that. Hey, loot bag. Nice. And I also put the scaffolding up the top here, guys. So that way, if we do get some uh, zombie birds, then uh, we're, we're good. So I missed one right here. I'm going to put one right here. So this is what the base looks like right here. This is pretty much it. Pretty simple. Pretty fun. She's, uh, she's trying it out. She's doing a great job. I'm really proud of her. All right. Well, uh, let's get loaded up and let's bring on a horde. All right, guys, I set it to day 28. Uh, we're going to have a 28-day horde. I gave myself XP enough to get to level 37. So hopefully that helped out a little bit. <laughs> hopefully it's going to raise my game stage quite a bit. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, level 37. I gave myself a pistol, an AK, and a shotgun, a pump shotgun, a baseball bat with a, uh, whatchamacallit, a mod on it, a burning shaft mod, and a stun baton. So figured that's somewhat fair maybe a little op but that's okay though i didn't really give myself a lot of armor so i mean if they break in i'm i'm pretty much toast okay i did put spikes all around as you can see i got spikes i got landmines across the thing there so we should be good to go so let's see who uh who comes i hear him oh they're hitting landmines already Oh, skinny Pete. Oh, there, oh, we got a cop. All right, we got cops. I didn't know if I'd have cops tonight or not. Here we go. Harold's coming up. He's going to hit the mine. Oh. oh, Harold survived it. Here they come. So that's what I like about this. We can take shots at them. Oh, see, the cop keeps not getting through the scaffolding. No damage. No damage. Here they come. See, they, they fall at the poles. They don't always make it. And when they do make it, the sledge smacks them. As you can see, the sledge hits them. So here he comes. Whack. There's some cop puke. And you can just line them up with the AK right here. Look at them jumbled up right there. They're having trouble with that jump right there, which is perfect for me. It jumbles them all together right there. But they're having trouble with that little spot right there. But here they come. Here's a, here's a cop. Oh, he's going to blow up. I did not want him to blow up there. I did not want that. Perfect. I mean, the sledge is working great. Let's get some uh, melee action in. Well, see, sometimes they don't even make it to you. Sometimes you don't have a chance to make, them to make it to you. But this is... 
an almost AFK base. You do still have to deal with, um, you know, some cop puke and stuff like that. I don't have any birds yet. See, sometimes they don't make it all the way. Sometimes if they do, they, they fall off, they hit the spikes. There's spikes down there. There's a cop right there. The, see, the puke doesn't come through the scaffolding. So you're protected from cop puke. Really almost not a melee base because they don't make it to you because of the sledge. They really they really don't. So here comes another batch. Like I said, you can just line them up if you want with the, uh, the perfect headshots right there. Get some Molotov action in there. That, didn't, that was bad. Right there. Not a good pipe bomb base. Oh, here we go. I got some melee. Yeah, see? You reached this perfect. This is like a perfect distance for the melee right here. There's a cop. As you can see, the uh, the pillar, these uh, uh, these pillars that I put down stop the cop view. Let's see what this cop does. Was he going to blow right there? Hope not. Okay, now we're getting stacked up. This is our first time we've gotten stacked up. You can see the sledge takes care of it. Oh, there we go. Yes. The sledge does fall behind once in a while. See, there's one that fell off. So the poles has a chance of them falling off. It seems like it. So, cop puke's not getting through. I wonder if the cop puke is doing damage to this. Let me look real quick. Let's see. It is doing a little bit of damage, but not much. You can see they haven't done hardly any damage to this. Hardly none at all. Nothing on top. The base is working out pretty good. I should also say the hordes are set to 64 zombies. This is a max zombie uh, horde, so it's doing just fine. to see what they're doing I had looks like I had a bunch maybe jumbled up down there I don't know what they're beating on I'm not sure maybe some stuck down there but they're still coming across the poles yes it's a melee action I got a charged baton somebody come get it somebody come get it come on big mama you can do it you can do it might be mo yeah it was mo here they come, they're coming. Look at that, they get kind of jumbled up right there. I might need to make an adjustment down there, but... Oh, that was not good. I don't think I have any water. I have a coffee, let's drink a coffee. There we go. My first really real damage, really. Self-inflicted. Well, the horde's almost over. I had to speed the time up just a little bit so we get kind of going a little bit. You kind of get the gist of it, though. I mean, it works. If they make it to you, you can get some melee damage. Um, let's see what the base looks like. This is Day 28 Horde. We had a bunch of cops. Not a lot of dogs, though. Plenty of loot bags. Hey, copper. There we go. Let's take care of all these guys real quick. I love this gun. Ha! Everybody needs a single kill gun. It's like the zombie, uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Oh, there's a dog. I was wondering where a dog was. I wonder where you were. A lot of zombies. Okay. But, ooh, they did do some damage. Look at that. Okay. I wonder if a cop blew up down here, maybe? Possibly. Well, you guys chill. Yeah, I wonder if a cop blew up down here. 
they were doing some damage down here. I heard them breaking in. That's why I. That's why I'm. That's why I say make sure things are filled in. They they were jumping up into here and beating on this. So keep that in mind. If you use this base, uh, you definitely want all this stuff up upgraded as far as you can. Uh, and speaking of upgrading, I'm gonna repair the base, do a couple more tweaks, and let's bring on a day seven thousand horde. Let's do it. All right, guys, day seven thousand horde. I just upgraded everything to s steal what I could, not everything to steal, as much as I could to steal with a you know with a couple bricks of it. I brought in a junk turret. Uh, he's gonna sit here and uh, shoot these guys right there that go across. I did refill the spikes and the mines. Uh, that turret's still there. I brought in some better weapons. I have an M60. I have a auto shotgun, an SMG, a uh, desert vulture, and a shotgun. I also did max out my XP, too. So I should get a pretty massive horde, and I'll probably die extremely fast, is what I'm guessing. Now, do I think this horde base can stand as day 7,000 horde? Absolutely not. Will it be fun to find out? Yes, it will be. <laughs> It'll be very fun to find out. This is like a, a horde base. You saw it did against cops. It did okay against cops, but demolishers are going to bring down this base. The only thing maybe I have a chance with is I can maybe set their buttons off somewhere else, but what is that, a dead deer down there? Oh, this is going to be nuts. This is going to be nuts, guys. I hear them. They're breaking the spikes. Oh, radiated. Let's throw a pipe bomb down there. Get some action going on. Catch those guys. Oh, there's a doggo. Lots of radiated zombies. Is this dog? You can see the uh, the junk turret gets working right here. And I maxed out robotic inventor so I can use both turrets. So that's a that's a key thing. But yeah. Great base for a uh, junk turret. Look at it, he's getting action right here. Yeah, you gotta be careful about the junk turret setting off the demolishers. Oh, oh no, this is not good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, let's go into God mode. Let's get out of here. Why are they attacking the bottom of the base? That's interesting. I wonder if it's because I have too many spikes down here. Let's take out some of these spikes. Let's take out some of these spikes. Oh my god, look at that. Maybe it's too many landmines? I don't know. Let's get back in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. This is not good. They are not even going up. Do I need to stand over here, maybe? Maybe I need to stand here. Let's make them go up. Yeah, they're not even going up now. Oh, now they are. I saw... They're going up now. I think they're just bottlenecked. There's just too many of them. Yeah, they're going up now. Just, they took a minute. There we go. I think they were just bottlenecked. Or maybe I had too many spikes at the bottom. That is one thing you got to be careful of in Alpha 21 is having too many spikes at the bottom. There we go. Don't see any demolishers yet. Oh, that might be a demolisher down there. Maybe. Hi. Where's my melee? I didn't bring my melee down to my hotbar. Let's use a shotgun. That's fine. I did not bring my melee down. Bring that down. Lots of radiated zombies. Oh, this is still working out good. Uh, it might be a demolisher right there. That might be a demolisher. I gotta be careful about not setting off his buzzer. Yeah, he fell down. Demolisher fell down. Oh my god. This is nuts, guys. <laughs> Look at this. But, you know, I mean, still for this 7,000 horde, they can still bottle them up like this. Look at how much they're bottled up. I mean, this is great. There's a dog. I hear a demolisher. Ow! Yeah, I don't have that covered. Junk turret's still getting some work in. Uh, 
I see a demolisher. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, he just he blew up down there. I was hoping he would fall off while I hit his his uh, the, his button. I was the M60 is not the uh, greatest with aiming at their. Uh, I got I got a jumping zombie, a spider monkey in here. He must have made the jump. I gotta cover this up. I did this for the uh, junk turret. Doing all right so far. Let's see. I need to get some more pipe bombs down here. Oh boy, somebody else just jumped. I don't know if they're beating on it down there or just trying to. I mean, that is what nice about it is you you bottleneck them. You kind of contain the horde a little bit. You kind of contain the horde. Come on, let's go. Can finally get some melee action. Finally! Yes! Maxed out player! Take that! Oh, we got this crawling zombie holding up the whole line. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Where's my Molotovs? Let's bring those down. I haven't got any Molotov work yet. go a little close for comfort there there's some down there ow I haven't really seen any more demolishers though yeah I haven't really seen any more demolishers so and this isn't set to like easy difficulty this is warrior so not like we're having a they're taking it easy on us using standard ammo not using armor piercing or anything like that. Oh, I love this. I love bobbing them up down there like that. That's awesome. I love the bottlenecks this base has. Oh, there's a radiated white in there. There he is. A Rob Zombie. I got some, oh, I got somebody else in here, don't I? There you go. I think I see a demolisher in there, maybe. Look at the light. There's one of the crawler zombie that's holding them up. Oh, that's great. That's perfect bottle. Oh, I just caught myself on fire. Uh, what do I got? Coffee? Let's drink that. Let's see if I don't do it again. There we go. Everybody's on fire. I haven't seen a lot of demolishers, surprisingly. Oh, look at that. They're taking they're trying to take this whole thing down. Look at that. Oh, that's not good. Why are they beating on that? Why? I don't understand. Yeah, it's like they're... Oh, they're all... Look at that. They're almost made it to me here. They see it. See, now they're seeing a better... Oh, my gosh. They're seeing a better way to get to me, basically, is what they're doing. We'll just catch them on fire. How about that? Oh, somebody blew up. A cop, maybe? Took out a bunch of zombies. Well, I only had the one demolisher that I saw. I was kind of, de kind of depressed a little bit about that. I only have, the I wanted more demolishers. I want, oh, there, see, there it goes. That the whole thing just went down. Let's uh, get on top. I think this whole base is about ready to come down, guys. 
I think this whole base is about ready to come down. I'm gonna fall. So now they're going after this pillar here, which is fine. It's all fine and dandy. What do we got left? No demolishers that I see. Lots of radiated, though. Lots of radiated. All right, let's do something real stupid. Let's drop down. See what's going on down here. Oh, there's some Rob Zombies. Let's see if I can reload. I got running gun maxed out. God, I love the M60. Oh, I love the M60. Just want to see the base. Oh, yeah, look at all that damage they did. Yeah, when you're this maxed out, you can basically just run around on foot. Basically. So, I mean, this is, I mean, like I said, it's interesting that what they did, they chose to attack the base instead of doing the tightrope when the earlier hordes decided to go the tightrope. Decided that way. So, uh, I think it's honestly just too many zombies jumbled up in one spot is what it is. My, my personal opinion, but they just look for other ways to go. And I probably have too many spikes down. I think that's another thing I had wrong, so. Hey, there's a screamer. Hey, girl. Another screamer. Wow. All right. I see her. She's way back there. I'm just about dead. Or getting there. Bleeding out. I'm infected. Fifty-five health. How far can we make it? And another screamer. <laughs> this may not end anytime soon. What's up with the screamers? I don't have a forge going or anything. Oh no! Oh, I died! Get 22 health. Wow, I might die by a nurse at the very end. I think we did it. I think we did it. I hear one more chick. Wow, now we can look at the base. Look at all that damage, guys. It's still held up, though. It's still held up, and honestly, you can stand on top of it, like I did. Stand on top of it, if you have to. It works, though. It works. Maybe not against Day 7000 Horde, but against just a normal Horde? Absolutely. All right, guys. Spartan85, I'm going to sign off. If you have any other questions about this base, please ask in the comments, and uh, I could do a more simplified version if you guys need. But I mainly just wanted to show you guys this and have a little bit of fun. So, see you guys later. Bye.